The development of the High Alpine area has been incredible since I moved here. It's been so much fun and I started out as a park skier and now as I'm developing my skiing, every day can't be a park day. So you can go out and explore the High Alpine, get above that tree line and really find some lines that people haven't hit. Great cliffs and shoots, you get all your little secret areas and it's just really fun and every single person you run into has a new spot that you never even knew about. It's just unlimited terrain and you can just find a million different cool things to do. I've got a, quite a few favorite spots. Some of them I cannot mention here in good conscience. I wouldn't feel good about uh, selling my buddies out. <laughs> the contest is really fun. A few fun rocks to drop off of. Yeah, horseshoe overall is a really fun area go down to Horseshoe, go to contest. It just kind of opens up with that really playful terrain. That's seriously my all time favorite run, lift, ever, you know, of anywhere I've been in the world. Like that just feels like home to me. I think probably my favorite run, I would say it's probably CJ's. And it's, uh, it's the longest, most sustained vertical. You know, it's probably 1200 vertical feet of just this beautiful pitch. There's so many good shots up there from the top of peak seven. Areas like Vertigo, Y Shoot, uh, CJ's, Magic Carpet Ride. You know, the experience of being able to, to go up there and ski some of those extended lines or those really challenging shots. It's probably why a lot of people, you know, work at Brecken and, and probably stick around. I think that when you get into the front bowls, when you get in peak seven and looking down at the, at the independence lift down below and, and when there's nobody else around and you get that feeling of, of just kind of that silence and then it gets so quiet and then you kind of hear that little bit of that lift running down below. And, but looking down at the town, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really amazing. There's just something for me, and I think it's probably true for a lot of people, about being above Timberline. I love riding up and looking across the ridge at La Plata Peak and Mount Elbert, which is the highest in the state. And then you get off the lift, and you can turn around and see Pikes Peak off in the distance, which is the most iconic peak in all of Colorado. And you can see them both. It's so expansive. You can feel like you're in a different part of the ski area when you're up there. And, and maybe that's what it is. It's a good place to just get away. There's days where my brother and I would bring my dad up there and, and you kind of just see his eyes light up like, oh man, like, what did these guys get me into, you know? We'll cruise and we'll see him just kind of working his way down the, down the run. But then again, like, he makes it down and then just the smile on his face is like, whoa, that was like some real stuff. Seeing someone get a little challenged and a little out of their comfort zone is really cool too. Breckenridge has such phenomenal terrain, all the peaks really, uh, whether you're going to hike up from, from peak 10 or peak 9 up higher or ride up and ski it off of peak 8 or peak 6. When you get there on those special days when it's just right, it's something you'll never forget. Even on the days when it's a little more challenging, a little more crowded or wind blown or the snow isn't great, it still is a, just a great experience and a great place to be. I would be happy if every day of my life if I could ride up the Imperial chair once a day. <laughs>